Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a baby first birthday haul and wrapping. So, I ordered some paper. This is um, first birthday. It says birthday boy. Okay, this is your first birthday. I need to try to use that up. It doesn't look nice. This one's got some stickers and stuff. Some stickers. Oh, gift tags. And they're just like little zoo, zoo animals. This thing is um Daniel Tiger. I mentioned four, Daniel Tiger and I, I think we're about the same age. Oops. Okay, we're still going. I accidentally hit that button. It's like, oh, I don't cut off. <clears throat> I got too much crap in my table. Okay. This is a little swimming turtle. Goes in the back row. And I got hold on one thing about this. Handle just come on out. So I'm gonna tape the whole I'm thinking of it. I just happened to pick it up the other day and it's like, oh, it just fell apart on the floor. And I was like, what in the world? I paid like $10 for this little bag. They can't even put no tape on it. Okay. Then I got this little Fisher Price little people. It's a bubble tractor. Little man. Then we have. Daniel Tiger, Daniel tries something new. And then this is some, some kind of little activity or something. I don't know what it is. Blues Clues, happy birthday. Blue. Happy birthday to you. Dr. Seuss. A busy day in the neighborhood. Daniel Tiger. Let's see what this is. Um, 
This is, um, can't find Tiny Tiger too much. So I found this little tiger. It's a towel. Isn't it? Hold up. Yeah, that's a little towel. Put a head. And this wraps around. This will last him several years. Give him that. And some feathers just, just let them just, yep, fill in my glasses. And, um, I got him some more, um, yeah, the, the bibs. I've never seen before. There's a little thing at the bottom back down here to tee them. So they can put in the mouth and chew on it. So, gum tight for that. I just have to sleep in the bottom. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Some of that I'm just going to wrap up on my box here. Some kind of bathtub toy. Well, my bathtub. I got some bowl bath. All right, this is supposed to be very good for babies. She wanted one of these. I don't know if it's the one she wanted, but it's what I got. One of these. Seen your tail and ears wrapped up. Mm -hmm. Strange. Never seen that tail before. Some of this I'm going to stick in a box. Oh, 
Hold on, I'm gonna pause you for one second. I have a bigger box I'm gonna use yet. Let me pause you for a second. Okay, I'm back. I got a bigger box. I might can get all this in this one box. Very careful on my bathtub toys because when my kids are little, they have the holes and stuff in them. They get water in them, and um, we didn't talk about things like this. After a while, they get melted in them. Nothing worse when they're sitting there playing with them, and all of a sudden, all this black mildew comes out. You have to be careful. So I don't buy anything that's got those little holes in them. Okay, I'm gonna try to use this first birthday. So, oh, it's got tags too. this hot wheel case. I don't know if I'm gonna give it to him for his birthday or just hold it back for Christmas. So I know my boys love collecting cars. And I know he'll end up wanting to do it. Unless they end up having a boy in one day. I don't know. Alright. Let's do it. This way we're going to do it.
I'll find get on that knock and I'm my ceiling and stuff like I got that thing. The last video. I ain't never heard that before. If you've been here for a while, you know my house is haunted. I had a paranormal group several years ago from Fort Worth come down. They told me the attic in this room was the most haunted. Good in my other box is smaller. Hopefully, it comes. Um, there goes that old terrible tape again. Did I order that same kind I had last time? I hope I didn't. It was terrible tape last time. If I had a ghost doing anything, I wouldn't be able to hear nothing. We got Mr. Movie Theater over here. Playing this damn TV so damn loud. I asked him, I said, did you hear all that knocking and scratching? So no, I can't hear anything. This is not good to me. It's terrible to me. Mm. Yeah, scotch has gotten terrible for tape. I don't know. So, 23rd. This ain't going out too long. Let's 
second. Yeah, I just read that. Here's the welcome gift. It's not being very good. I loved it, but um, you know, well, I think they just kind of rushed everything because all that warranty. So. Walking Dead spin-offs. I'm not watching all those. That's the most stupidest crap on TV. Why don't you just leave the Walking Dead? Just leave it like it was. If you're gonna have Andrew Lincoln, Lincoln and all that, they're gonna come back. They're gonna do TV shows. Why can't he come back and do the Walking Dead? Makes no sense to me. You're gonna have all these people come back. These spinoffs when they could just be walking dead. So I don't think it's gonna last. I don't think people want to sit there and watch all those. They should have just ended it. Just left it alone. So you know what? I have maybe some Christmas bowls this year now. I'll look for that later. I'll be right now. I feel like I could be any kind of bowls. I just use most at Christmas. I have different colors. They're the next time. Girlfriend and the baby, Quentin's stayed in Galveston. And if you are still want to text her and see if they were back, what was going on? And she said they were headed to Houston to the mall. Houston's got several malls. First time Ashton's ever driven in Houston. I've never driven in Houston. I'm not too pretty. Hmm. I hear we have worse, tra worse tra more of the traffic is here in Brown Cross Station in Houston. Believe me, our traffic is terrible. These little teenagers come over here to a and &M. just graduated high school. They don't have to drive. And we got a bunch of old people, see? A bunch of 80, 90 year old people don't need to be out on the road driving. Down. My 
floors clean. I just vacuumed it yesterday. I was surprised it picked up that much. I thought my floor was pretty clean. I think it was off this rug. This is a new rug, you know, we always have that stuff on. So. <clears throat> oh, that's that one piece I cut. So I think I might need to. May have to. Well, I have a bunch of other toys. I might just, you know, just use that. Just add some more toys to it. We'll see. But I got a bunch of stuff I'm I'm keeping here. So when they come to visit. I'm the funny one. They don't want to come to Grandma's house because I'm going to have all the fun toys. Well, they're not going to be having all of them, I tell you. I've learned. Don't give your kids everything. All these electronic stuff. computers and stuff. They need to learn how to do board games and put puzzles together. So, doing it on your phone and computer. They don't. This is how all, all parents don't put video games and TVs in your kids' bedrooms. And computers. Don't put electronics in your bedroom. I've watched these people on YouTube and stuff, and they're like, they keep their kids' bedrooms. They're like, why don't you build your house? Get this big house, but the bedrooms are so small because they don't want their kids spending all their time in the bedroom. And they don't put electronics in the bedroom because <coughs> they want them kids to go outside and play or spend time with the family in the living room and stuff. So, if you have video games, it's in the living room. I had a friend who was like that, and I was like, man, I feel sorry for her son. Now, I see why she did it. Because once we moved to this house, my kids got their own bedrooms, and. TVs and video game systems and computers in each of their rooms, all that stuff. Never saw them. <clears throat> they go in there and get their food and come back into the bedroom. It's, oh, I'm gonna be a cool mom and give them all the new electronics, new phones, and computers, and video games. And, yeah. If you're gonna do that, just put them in the living room like that. And um, have their bedroom. sets or race cars or their doll houses or whatever. They 
so let's think. I have to buy this stuff that my kids can, because otherwise I'll get in trouble. They'll, they'll come take them away from me. <clears throat> Until one day I took, I had to go to see the counselor. I think Ashton was in eighth grade. And the counselor told Ashton and me. I would tell while she was telling Ashton. Your mother, the only thing she has to do is give you is shelter, food, clothes, medical, you know, your basic, your necessities to live. <coughs> she does not have to buy you fancy clothes, new items, the fanciest tennis shoes, you know, the newest video game. You know, the newest computer. Oh, I'm thinking, you know, really? That's a lot. That's <laughs> like, and I won't go to jail. Because nowadays you go to jail for anything nowadays. I hope y'all can hear me. Gives me these. I'll just tape it on there. It's got a little hole in there. I didn't get any more string. That's all right. I'm set it to this one. Set this right on here. We had to piece them together a lot. Okay. And I might put some bows on her later. <clears throat> Let's see. Yes, I think I'm gonna wait till Christmas to get to them. So we can start collecting hot wheels. Um, <clears throat> but then he'll be to that age. My kids always go to Walmart. And go, well, Ashton, when he go to Walmart, he do them. I don't think he still have them or not. Those balloons, those helium balloons. Let's check out. He the wolf yet? I don't know if I should keep that on my. I'll move that over. <clears throat> he would just cry and scream. One he didn't go Then he moved over off uh, those helium balloons to um, Hot Wheels. And then not Hot Wheels. They were cheap. They're like a dollar. Maybe a little bit under a dollar then. So every time we go to Walmart, we do our like big grocery shopping once a month. So that was only a dollar. 
You'd be happy as can be. <coughs> so, but he got, he's got a bunch of Hot Wheels. I don't know if they're still that cheap or not. I haven't looked at them. But I thought that'd be something they can start collecting. Because he hadn't bought any in years. So, probably been 20 years since we bought any. So, I know they've got all the new ones out by now. I'm still trying to get over this um the sickness. They gave me an inhaler. I got this a lot. I don't know if you can hear that up or not. All this stuff in my lungs. I don't know if you're supposed to use that inhaler for that or not. I've never used an inhaler. It scares me. I'm not like one of these people who does drugs. I, I just can't do that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not putting that stuff in my body. So. I don't do drugs. I've never have done drugs. I will never do drugs. And yeah. So. All right. see y'all in the next video and make sure to subscribe click the like button click the bell notification leave a comment if you'd like and i will see you in the next video bye bye